Hello guys, I just recently watched a uh, free-for-all gameplay of Gears of War Judgment. Um, the previous videos for this game were mostly the new Horde or the new Beast Mode, so I really didn't care that much about that since I really didn't play that playlist that often in Gears of War 2 or Gears of War 3. My main concern was more of the ranked side and the whole, you know, the whole core game aspects so it can branch off to the more competitive side. And by the, by the looks of it, I really think this franchise is pretty much done for when it comes to competitive gameplay. And the reason why I'm going to say this is just for like some quick summarizations here is most of the weapons are back. Most of the, the core tactics that made Gears of War 3 such a casual friendly game are back. Um, and Free For All was a, a game mode that I really enjoy in previous shooting games and I really would have liked to see it in Gears of War. And I'm glad that it was, it, it was announced but by the looks of it I'm not really going to pretty much be purchasing this game at all. Um, so the following video that you're going to see here is going to be the actual footage that I've seen that was released by GameSpot. Also, there's going to be another video footage from um, someone else. I'm going to put his um, his username in the video itself. And it's, it's pretty much showing how this Gears of War 3 was more casualized. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this new um, um, feature, which is called Bullet Compensation or Bullet Magnetism. But you're going to see it in the following video. So this is going to be a breakdown and pretty much explaining why I really have very low hopes for this game and the franchise in general. One of the most annoying new additions to Gears of War 3 and Gears of War's franchise was the addition of the Mantle Kick, and it's still in this game as you can see right now. Also, I want you to take notice of what you see on the screen, and it seems as if this game now has a permanent crosshair that stays on the screen whether or not you are hard aiming or hip firing the Nasher the boom shot and then I believe it was also for the breach shot. This can also take effect for other weapons as well. But I'm going to start to bring in parts of the other video I want you to see where I was showing you the whole bullet magnetism and hit compensation thing. If Gears of War 3 wasn't casualized enough, this should pretty much make this game as, you know, as new friendly as possible to now introduce a static uh, crosshair for your hit firing or even your blind firing when you're on cover. You can now blind fire with some sort of general accuracy. I don't know what Epic is going with this. So this clip is pretty much showing what the bullet hit compensation and bullet magnetism that was introduced in Gears of War 3. As you can see, when you shoot at your teammates with friendly fire and when you shoot at your enemy, it's a totally different outcome. You really don't need to be accurate in Gears of War 3 with a shotgun to kill someone. Now back to some Gears of War Judgment footage. The Lancer that was introduced in Gears of War 3 is pretty much here to stay. Without actives, this thing is capable of downing you in a second, as you can see right here. Also, the Retro Lancer, which is the king of overpowered rifles, is also here to stay in judgment and is capable of downing you underneath a second, as you can see here. Also, the Boom Shot still has three rounds, making this thing as overpowered as it was in Gears of War 3. I understand it is a power weapon, but it's more balanced if it had only two rounds. The Nades, I do like the fact that they glow to increase their, um, visibility on the battlefield so you could be able to avoid them a lot more easier the breach shot shoots a bit too fast for being as powerful as it is capable of as you can see here headshotting your opponent and also having the fire rate of a botox pistol with actives the mortar is pretty much fine no problems with that but all in all this game really just looks like it's gonna have very overpowered weapons that is gonna really make the game a bit too boring stale and just a whole camp fest that Gears of War 3 is unfortunately the way it is now. Um, hopefully these are just like, you know, the first iterations of the game. Maybe they can listen to our opinions and further change and alter the game down the path before releasing the actual final game. But if this is the way the game is going to be, I am not indulging myself in this franchise anymore. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, just feel free to post. Please keep it civilized. I would like to hear your opinions as well. But my general opinion, like I said before, if this game like that I've, that I've just showed you is how Judgment's going to be played out, count me out of it. I'm not going to be playing any more of this franchise at all. There's going to be no Judgment videos. Probably I'm going to ditch Gears of War 3 as well and just move on to other games. So that's pretty much my take and my opinion on this. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Later.